Hello, everybody. My name is Juan Manuel Ibáñez, and I'm product engineer. I'm, I've been working in Fuji Electric Europe technical department for more than 10 years. And today I would like to talk uh, about the frequency inverter selection or how to select our inverters for certain applications and for certain requirements. The session goals are to discuss about inverter selection, to check what factors are involved in this selection, and to check within those factors what are the strong points of Fuji Electric inverters. As an introduction, um, as you can see in this picture, several factors play a role on the inverter selection. This is an example on how to select the inverter size, what size of the inverter I'm going to use in my application. And as you see, there are several um, magnitudes that I need to have into account, like the maximum output current that I need, or the motor power, or application details such as uh, ED or ambient temperature, etc. And these factors combine in order to make the decision of what size of inverter we will use in our application. Then, for uh, the inverter selection of which model uh, I will choose from the Fuji Electric portfolio, we have made a similar, um, the similar division of points that, that we think they are important for, for this selection. Uh, we are split the important points in basically seven slides, seven categories. So we have the power range, the hardware constraints, motor control and performance, application functions, functional safety, communications, and customization. Now we will go in deep on, in each uh, category and to see which are the important points and which products are better for, for certain applications. So, in the power range category, one important point is the available power, the power supply type, the different duties, and the overload needed. If we go one by one, we can see from the available power needed is what is the maximum motor power I'm going to need in, in my installation, or what is the maximum output current. We have products with a very wide range of application in this matter. We have BG1 stack type that we can reach up to 2.4 megawatt in medium duty, 4,000 uh, uh, amps, or we can have micro product on the other end that is only up to 4 kilowatt and 9 amps. So depending on the maximum power or the motor power that I need in my application, I will have to select one inverter or another. Also, the power supply. The power supply will be very important in order to select the inverter. I can have different levels of voltage, for instance, 230 volts IC, 400 volts IC, or 690, and also topologies. I can have single phase or three phase inverters. I have uh, A's, for instance, that where I can have single phase 230 or three phase 230 and three phase 400 volts, but for instance, Mega does not have a single phase. Uh, possibility or connection to single phase, etc. I also we can also have different duties. The duties in the inverter increase increase the flexibility of uh, the inverter to select. They depend they depend basically on needed overload, ambient temperature, and carrier frequency. And they modify the motor size I can drive with the inverter. So depending on the characteristics and the ambient temperature and etc of my application I can select one size of inverter or another for the very same motor size. Also the overload needed. The inverter can be a limiting factor in the available overload in the system. It depends on duty and application and for instance I have mega, we have mega with 150% for one minute, 200% for three seconds overload because it's for high overload and heavy applications and then on the other end we have we may have HVAC with 110% overload for one minute because it's focused on fan applications and maybe pumps applications that don't need such a high overload typically. As a summary, uh, every, every, every one of the seven categories and I'm, we are splitting this presentation will make a brief summary in the end and showing the strong points of our inverters for each one. Yeah. So you see here, you will see some kind of scores in a, for each inverter. It's a kind of categoric information just to know to check which are 
better for for certain category. So we have a stack BG1 stack, which is very good in power range because we have up to 2.4 megawatts in medium duty, 400 volts AC and 690, C, uh, 690 volts available, and two duties. Then we have BG1 up to 630 BG1 unit up to 630 kilowatt three phase 400 volts with a very high overload of 200% for three seconds and 150% overload for one minute. Then we have Mega with a similar overload, also up to 630 kilowatt, with two or three duties depending on the size. And then we have Ace, which adds a lot of flexibility with four duties, where you may have a maximum overload of 200% during half a second, 150% during one minute in high carry frequency heavy duty, and where you can drive motors up to 220 kilowatt, three phase 400 volts. 22 kilowatts, three phase, 200 volts in HHD both, and 2.2 kilowatts in single phase, 200 volts AC, also supply. Yeah. Then we have LM2A, that is a specific product for lift. Then we have up to 45 kilowatts, three phase, 400 volts, or up to 4 kilowatts single phase, 200 volts with a high overload, and with several ratings depending on uh, ED, ED and temperature. And also we have mini up to 15 kilowatt, three phase, 400 volts with a high overload. We also have micro and HVAC and aqua that in, in this case um, are the less. Then we have uh, hardware constraints. We go for the second category. These are the hardware requir requirements that the application may have with the inverter. So we can face an IP protection requirement, a housing protection, a maximum ambient temperature in the environment, EMC filter, installation environment, parallel connection, and current harmonics mitigation. For the IP protection, we can have inverters with different protection degree. We can have inverters with IP21 or IP55, case of HVAC and Aqua, or we can have IP20, IP00, which are the others. Also maximum ambient temperature, depending on the requirement of your application, we may, you may face ambient temperatures of 40, 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. Our inverters have different levels of, um, maximum, of maximum ambient temperature and they depend on, the, on each uh, inverter. Also EMC filter, if the EMC filter is built in or it's optional, if it changes or not the overall dimensions, for instance, our standard Mega has built-in EMC filter for the whole range and does not modify the overall dimensions. If you would purchase an inverter without built-in EMC filter, the dimensions would be the same. In case of Ace or a Mini, it's, that's not the case. But always our standard in Europe, it's uh, with built-in EMC filter. And the performance of the filter. We have HVAC and Aqua also with built-in EMC filter, which we may comply up to C2 category 75 meters and mega uh, it's C3 uh, 10 meters for the most of the sizes. Also installation environment, can the inverter be installed outdoors? The inverter is resistant to corrosive gases or can I use it in second environment or third environment? So these are uh, points important also in order to decide what inverter choose from the Fuji Electric portfolio. Also, if you may need parallel connection, we have some inverters like BG1 unit and BG1 stack that you can connect in parallel to the same motor in order to either uh, increase the available power range or to have a redundancy in case of inverter failure. So if, if this is a requirement, you also need to take it into account. And current harmonics mitigation. If the inverter has uh, mitigation measures built in, like for instance the DC reactor, so if the DC reactor is built in, like the case of HVAC or Aqua, or it can be installed externally, like case of Mega or Ace or VG1 unit, or there is another mean, there are another means available for harmonic current harmonic mitigation, such as uh, active front ends or active filters, etc. So this is something you also need to take into account. As a summary of this category, we have. HVAC and Aqua with a DC reactor built in with very strong EMC filter 
uh, IP21 or IP55 up to 90 kilowatt, and we fulfill uh, 3C3 um, protection for some corrosive gases. Also, we have MEGA with built-in EMC filter as a standard, IP20, external DC reactor, and maximum 60 degrees Celsius ambient temperature with uh, some the rating. BG1 with external DC reactor and parallel connection possibilities, or BG1 stack with active front end and also parallel connection. Also, LM2A with built-in EMC filter, um, also a chance for uh, DC reactor external, of course, and the inverter can be used. The safety function of the inverter, the called safe torque off function, can be used at pollution degree 3. Okay, this is the overall uh, summary for the hardware constraints category. If we jump to motor control and performance, it's the next category I want to talk to you about. Then we have a motor type, a control motor type, control target, control performance, and maximum output frequency. So um, in the industry or in the final application, we may face several types of electrical motors. Um, the Fuji electric drives can drive, of course, can uh, induction motor and also permanent magnet synchronous motor both with inner or surface mounted magnets. Um, induction motor is of course available in all our portfolio and some drives, nearly all of them can drive a permanent magnet synchronous motor as well, both in open loop and closed loop. And synchronous reluctance motor, we are still working on it. For the motor control type, as I said before, we can have open loop, uh, simple uh, control, for instance, we may have BF control, which is the simplest, dynamic torque vector control, sensorless vector control, or we can have also closed loop, like PG vector, that is our full vector control or our field oriented uh, control, and BF control plus uh, encoder. Yeah. So you have you may have some inverters with uh, all these um, control methods that you see on your screen available, case of uh, Mega. You may face in our lower end some inverters that they are mainly in open loop, like only with VF control and dynamic torque vector control. And you may f you may find also in our pro in our product portfolio some uh, products with they are mainly focused in closed loop. Even they can also be used in open loop, of course. And we also have the control target from the motor. We can control the torque on the motor shaft or the speed on the motor shaft or the position of the motor shaft or uh, shaft sorry or the position of the machine so there are inverters that they are only basically in our in our uh, lower end we have inverters for speed control mainly and as we are increasing the family and the powerfulness of the inverters we can also control torque and position also the control performance we may face different low speed performance in closed loop, we may have that the speed loop, it can be faster or slower, and also the control range. Together with the control method that we were seeing in the previous slides, also the same control method in different inverters can also have different performance. It's not the same selecting, for instance, dynamic torque vector control in micro or mini or mega, and it's not the same to to select closed loop or full vector control in mega or in BG. Also, when we are increasing the family of the, when we're increasing in, in our product family, we are also getting more performance. Also, the maximum output frequency available. Of course, the maximum output frequency available will indicate the maximum motor speed. So this is a very important, very important uh, parameter. Depends on the inverter and model and duty. Uh, some, there are some limitations when we are, we are using certain duties. And there is a special regulation above 600 Hz. As you may know, we have a special product called Mega EH, EH, if, H, FE, sorry, up to 1,667 Hz. As a summary for motor control, uh, of course, our best performance inverter is BG1 unit type. 
it can control EM, uh, induction motor in open loop and closed loop and permanent magnet perma, permanent magnet synchronous motor only in closed loop. Then we may jump to mega with a powerful inverter in induction motor closed loop and open loop, dynamic torque vector control, sensorless and permanent magnet synchronous motor as an option. Also we have uh, BG stack with the same features than unit but a little a little bit less performant than BG1 e unit type and also we have of course uh, LM2 it's a very specific product for lift for both induction motor and permanent magnet synchronous motor in open loop and closed loop it has no torque control because it's mainly focused on on lift application and we can find ACE for induction motor in open and closed loop, permanent magnet uh, synchronous motor in open loop, and MINI, that is an open loop inverter, which can drive both induction motor and permanent magnet synchronous motor. Okay, then we jump to application functions. In this section, we want to discuss software application functions that they are used in certain applications, such as such as lift, pump application, HVAC, cranes, and winder. Of course, our inverters can be used in a wide range of applications. We have chosen these ones as an example of the different points that you may face. We've chosen lift uh, because we have a very good specialist product for it, as well as a pump and HVAC, and then we took two general purpose applications as an example. The first one for lift application, it might be important that you have can open 417, contactorless function, rescue operation, high performance, and multiple motor control. Uh, the summary of this application is, of course, that the, the specialist product for this is LM2A. All the inverter is focused on lift application, and you can you you have top features that you can find in the market. Also, VG1 and VG1 stack can be used in some cases, mainly in big sizes, using a special software. And Mega can also be used uh, mainly with geared motors and also ACE. Okay, some mini are used sometimes for very small and simple wood elevators, but this will be more or less the summary of the lift application. For instance, for pump application, we have PID. We need a very good PID control, some protective functions such as dry pump protection, etc. Cascade control, multi-master operation. So the, the specialist product or the more focused product in this case is Fenic Aqua that has cascade control, multi-master operation and a full set of protective functions for your pump. Then also Age that has a similar working uh, philosophy with cascade control and multi-master operation and HVAC also can be used sometimes due to his uh, powerful PID then Mega, Ace and Mini have simple PIDs that can be used in uh, very simple applications for instance when we have a single phase supply or something like this we could use for instance Ace with the PID and sleep mode built in we jump to the next application which is HVAC where you need also very often a very strong PID. You may need also the pickup function or the catch spinning motor, especially for fun application. Also fire mode, mainly also for fun application. And some specific features like wet valve presumption control that is an energy saving feature for cooling towers. This feature is only available, available in HVAC inverter. That is our specialist product for this application that has this fire mode and this very special um, function for energy saving in cooling towers. Also Aqua and Ace have a strong PID and fire mode and can be used especially where I need a multi-motor uh, application. And also BG1 and BG1 stack they also have fire mode but not PID but they are mainly used for big applications, applications with very big motors and big fans etc. Okay, we jump to the next, which is cranes, where you normally need uh, very high performance, 
pre-excitation function in order to speed up the starting of the motor. It's very important when we have very frequent start-stop operations in the crane. And load adaptive control in order to increase the speed of the hoisting. Mainly this is used in the hoisting when there is no load in the crane so we can reduce the working cycles. Also braking capabilities are very important as normally you need a very long braking uh, cycle when you are decreasing the load. So as the application re requires very strong motor performance, BG1 is uh, our most uh, suited inverter. We have the best performance in our, for in our portfolio and very good performance. Uh, Pre-excitation function in order to start the motor faster and the, this load adaptive control. We can also use this BG1 stack which has exactly the same features than unit type with a, li a little bit less of, per of performance, of motor control performance. We also have Mega that we can use in both open loop and closed loop. You may have uh, internal braking unit in Mega as an option, as a semi-standard type. And then maybe Ace or Mini for small overhead cranes in open loop or the like. And an, an example of one machine that you can face in the industry is a winder uh, machine where you normally need either torque control or a dancer PID in order to estimate the tension uh, of the material. Also, you may, may need also diameter estimation of the winder, winding roll. So, sorry, as the torque control or dancer PID is mandatory, BG1 is the, has our strongest uh, torque control. In, uh, in our portfolio, one of the best performance in the industry with only uh, 3% uh, torque accuracy. So we have 3% torque accuracy where you can also find some programmable features in, in its UPAC, the built-in uh, PLC option card. Also ACE can be used in closed loop and you can have also torque control and you have what we call customizable logic or mini PLC in order to adapt the behavior of the inverter to the application and mega you have the advantage that in mega you have torque control and you have what we call sensorless vector control that you can have accurate torque control in open loop these are the main products that they are focused on this application then as a summary for the applications category uh, we may have that Lift is a very powerful inverter with top, pitch, top features sorry, in the market, but only specific for uh, lift sector. Then we have HVAC and Aqua, also specialist uh, products, very focused on the respective applications with top, top features in the market. And then we have, from the general purpose uh, range of the inverter, we have BG1 and uh, BG1 stack as they are used in mainly big sizes and in very powerful applications that can be used in a very wide range of uh, places. Also Mega and ACE may add flexibility through the different duties and also customizable logic in order to adapt the inverter to certain application characteristics. Okay, then we jump to the uh, fifth fifth category that we wanted to talk about that is the functional safety so the points the key points of the functional safety is if the functional safety is built in or as an option what function do we have and the performance of the inverter from the safety point of view then uh, if we have it as an option or built in almost all the inverters in Fuji Electric inverters portfolio have uh, safety as a standard, mainly STO, safe torque off function. So we have ACE, STO that it's seal three and it's built in, leaf contactorless also based on STO safety function built in, BG1, seal two also built in, but also mega it's seal two or HVAC and aqua. And then as an option in case of BG1 and BG1 stack, we can increase the number of safety functions by installing a, an external option. We can have safe stop one, safe limited speed, or safe brake control, the three of them as, as a, with a compliance level of SEAL 2 with the option card. Then, another 
important aspect related to safety is the function. Which functions do we have? The, as you saw before, the most used function in our inverter portfolio is STO. It means when the safety function is activated, we ensure that the, there will be no torque at the motor shaft. But we also can have safe stop one in BG1 and BG1 stack that we stop the inverter. And once the inverter is stopped, the motor, sorry, it's decelerated in a controlled way, then we apply a STO, or we can limit the speed safely, or we can control a safety brake, safety mechanical brake. Then the performance. So each function that we've been talking in this section can have different performance levels. The customer calculations or the standard applicable for the machine or for the sector will define which is the safety level that is required for the inverter. Two approaches. You can have from SIL class, uh, from that it's coming from the standard 62061, or performance, performance level, sorry, plus category, that it's coming from the standard EN ISO 13849-1. As a summary for the safety category, so BG1 has many safety functions with uh, installing an option, not only STO, but it's always in category, complying category SIL2. Um, ACE, ACH, and LM2A have safe torque off uh, fu function with SIL3 compliance. Uh, and Mega, HVAC, and Aqua have safe torque off with uh, SIL2 compliance. Micro and Mini are the only ones that they don't have safety features. Okay, so if we go now for the sixth uh, category, we are talking about communications. Communications also has some important key points, like if the communications are built in or as an option, which protocols are available and what is the performance of the communications. So as an option, so our inverters have all of them communications built in that can be either can open for ACE or lift or mini and the rest of inverters have Modbus RTU, serial communication. And as an option, we can expand the communication capabilities by using an option card. We can have, for instance, Ethercat card for ACE or Profinet IRT for BG. The available protocols that you may have, so can be listed in this uh, slide. So you can have either serial communications, Modbus RTU can open Profibus, DeviceNet or Bagnet MSTP or Ethernet-based communications such as Ethercat, PowerLink, Bagnet IP, Modbus TCP, or Profinet. And the last important point when we are talking about communications is the performance of the communication. Uh, I would like to explain that the for me, the performance of the, commun of the communications is a combination of speed in the communication, the available message types, how many message frames do I accept for certain application, and the functionality. What is the functionality that I accept coming from that application? An example of this would be if I accept velocity mode of CIA 402 or torque mode, etc. Et As a summary for the communications, these are the this is the summary of the communications comparing comparing uh, our inverter portfolio. So. In ACE, we have can open built in and many, many communication options, both serial and Ethernet based. Then we have LM2A that, as it is the specific product for lift, it has can open built in with the lift standard for can open, which is 417, and also DCP3 or 4 uh, serial communications. Then we will have HVAC and Aqua with Bagnet MSTP, Meta Season 2, and Longworks, that they are specific protocols for HVAC or for water market, among all the others that they are also available for uh, Mega, because we are sharing the, the most of the option cards.
Okay, so this is the summary for the communications section. Then the last one, the last one, the last category we have is customization. For customization, we can have option cards. Customization is how we can adapt the inverter to certain application. We may uh, need option cards to add functionalities. Customizable logic or mini PLC uh, or a customized inverter. For the option cards, you the option cards add the possibility of expanding the functionalities of the of the inverter. Okay, and basically they can be uh, divided in three basic categories, which are communications, feedback. So they may add possibilities to connect different encoders as a feedback for the inverter, and I/O expansion. Also, you may face different. Uh, expansion cars or option cars uh, combination. The maximum number of option cars in A is it's two, and the maximum number of option cars in B1 unit is five. So it's also important to know how many options you need to combine in your application in order to select the inverter. Then also we may have customizable logic or mini PLC built-in to adapt the inverter behavior to certain application. So if I need certain function that the inverter as a standard does not have, I may use this functionality in order to program it or add it. Or I can also remove some small PLCs for, from simple application. Uh, I can have two options. It can be this logic or this programmable PLC can be based in one standard language, as the one you are seeing here. Or it can be based in a proprietary uh, programming software as the one that you see here that this is the uh, logic programmer for our Frenic ACE inverter. Also there is a possibility depending on the application or the, or, or, or the system that we may have a specific product for, for, for the application. This is an example, it's Mega-ELF, it's a specific uh, Mega with a software modification for LeafMark. Okay, as a summary for customization, our stronger inverters in this section is BG1 and BG1 and stack. You may have a, what we call with system inverter, so you can, with BG1 stack, you can make your inverter tailored for your application. So you can select a rectifier, you can select inverter, you can select active front end, etc., etc. You may have five options in the inverter. And you may also use our PLC on board that is called UPAC. It's an option card that adds a third CPU where you can add programming capabilities to the inverter. Then also you have ACE that has four duties and this adds very uh, flexibility to the inverter and also has what we call customizable logic or mini PLC that um, it's very helpful in order to be uh, installed in different applications and HVAC and Aqua that have three options uh, and very small PLC built-in as well as Mega. Okay, these were all the uh, categories that we, we wanted to talk about. Let me make some conclusions. Let me summarize a little bit because I gave you a lot of information in different categories. I would like to summarize a little bit now. So as a conclusion, several factors play a role on inverter selection. It's important to know the key points of the applications in order to select the inverter. I cannot say I will go always with the best inverter to all the applications because this might be I'm overkilling uh, my application, etc. I'm, I'm using too much or I cannot go, go on the other end either. Also, the Fuji Electric inverters can adapt to a broad range of applications. We have specialist products for, things, for certain applications and also our gener general purpose inverters have a lot of tools to be customized or to adapt to different applications. Then if we go category by category, so we in power range, the most important inverters are BG1, Stack BG1, Mega and Ace. We can adapt to several ranges, overload or duties, uh, necessities. 
we have VG1 stack up to 2.4 megawatt in heavy duty or VG1 or mega with 630 kilowatt maximum output power with very high overload, also with two or three duties. And then we have ACE, which is very flexible by using its uh, four duties. Regarding hardware constraints, we have several inverter models that they can adapt to different hardware requirements from housing, temperature, until harmonic mitigation. HVAC and aqua, you can have IP55, DC reactor, and EMC filter built in. Mega also, you have EMC filter built in and can be used up to 60 degrees Celsius ambient temperature with some the rating. And BG1 and BG1 stack, you can also have a system inverter with EMC filter, external DC reactor, or active front end, etc. etc. Regarding motor control and performance, it's clear that uh, we can offer all types of solutions from BF control, simple and robust to closed loop control of both induction motor and permanent magnet synchronous motor, almost with a servo-like performance. Our most performant inverter is, of course, a BG1 unit type, that is a closed loop focused premium inverter. We also have LM2A lift focused high end inverter, and also Mega, we can list, that is a general purpose inverter for the industry. Then, for the application functions, as you saw during the presentation, we can split our portfolio in two main families, especially specialist products, mainly for lift or HVAC and water market, with a lot, a lot of specific functions. And then we also have general inverters that can fit in various applications with uh, very good performance. We saw some examples during the presentation. Of course, as I said during the presentation, I would like to repeat again, the applications you saw are an example, uh, taken as an example, of course, we can adapt to a much wider range of applications. As functional safety, almost all our drives have uh, functional safety with at least one function, always with a built-in STO that can be either SEAL 3 for LM2A or ACE, or SEAL 2 for MEGA, BG1, HVAC and AQUA, and also some other functions like safe limited speed, safe stop one, etc through an option for BG1 or BG1 stack. As communications, our key points are that our portfolio, our inverters have built-in communications, either can open for ACE or LIFT, or on the other ones in serial communications. And when we don't have it built-in, we can expand with a very big number of option cards in order to adapt to your system. And uh, the last point, the last category is uh, customization. So BG1 and BG1 stack especially are very flexible through options since we can install up to five uh, options. We also have a programmable PLC that we can mount on the inverter called UPAC. And we, ha we can have a system configuration. And then ACE is also equipped with an advanced mini PLC. And it's also flexible through um, uh, the four duties built, in, built on the inverter. Also, as a customization, I forgot to mention before, but remember that in most of our um, inverters, we can customize the language of the keypad using the user customized language that is available in almost all of our advanced keypads.